Good morning, everybody. Happy October. Um, this is the craft or the piece of art that we'll be doing today. Welcome to Witch Crafting. It is a beautiful October day. Yay! It's October 1st, finally. And I have a special announcement in honor and celebration of October. We are going to be doing our very first Witchcrafting giveaway. Yay! Um, what you would win, if you're the winner, you would win one um, craft or piece of art that has been done on this show from each of the wonderful artists here. Um, now I don't know what that'll be. I can't speak for everybody else, and I haven't honestly made up my mind what I'm going to do for the giveaway yet. But I, I think I can speak for the others. It, it'll be something pretty cool, you know? I mean, we're not too shabby here at Witchcrafting. Um, and, you know, it may, something else, and one or two other items may be thrown in with it. I can't speak for the others. I have a hard time um, restraining myself to just one item and giveaway, so I'll probably throw a couple other things in there. So I think it'll be a fun way to celebrate October. Um, the drawing will be held October 31st. Um, the rules are, of course, you know, you need to be over 18 or have your parents' permission, and you need to be already subscribed to Witchcrafting. And what we would like for you to do is do a VR, you don't have to show your face if you're not comfortable with that, and show us something that you have made from something that we have shown you how to make here on Witchcraft. And it doesn't have to be a long video, a little short one would be fine. Just show us something that you have, you have learned here on Witchcraft. And um, I think that would be really, really fun. So leave a comment below. Tell us you're doing the VR, so we, you know, we know we that we'll we'll see it. I hope that we're subscribed to you. Um, between all of us, <laughs> so, someone should see it. But just in case, um, leave you know leave a VR. And anybody who watches Witchcrafting, and I'm sure the uh, my other Witchcrafting sisters feel the same way. If you're subscribed to us and we're not subscribed to you, I mean, all of us don't log into the Witchcrafting channel and, and check all that. I I do it occasionally. But on our individual channels, we would love to subscribe to you. So leave a comment below this video and, and tell us about your channel and we'll check you out. Because, you know, we want to be friends. Okay, so that's the giveaway. Um, I'm going to tell you who I am. I am Meg. My personal channel is Elizabeth Story. And I am your Wednesday hostess. Now, I have a little story about this. Not, not this, but about today's today's episode this is not the craft that i was going to show you let me open it up this is a um altered art altered book shrine um i was going to do something else had it all done and my husband accidentally destroyed it i'm not going to tell you what it was because i'll i'll show it to you probably next week i'm gonna have to redo it but it was hilarious and, you know i kind of got stressed out about it for a little while but then you know I guess that one just wasn't meant to be, you know, y'all were meant to see this. So, okay, I'm going to tell you how I did this. I don't, I can't walk you through it, obviously. This is something that I had actually, I did about probably a year and a half ago. And I don't have all the supplies to show you that I used to make it, but I can walk you through it. You will need a little patience for this and you will need an X-Acto knife. And I am begging you begging you to be careful with an exacto knife okay please please be careful so the main thing you will need and they're very cheap you can find them at thrift stores or like a, a you know a dollar store or, or walmart this used to be a baby board book you know those really thick um baby board books that are for like two-year-olds where see the width of this the pages are this width, and you know it's it's fat and thick and easy for um, little babies to handle. Um, this is what this used to be, and what you're going to do is get your hands on one of those books, if you want to make this craft, and you are going to sand it, 
sand, 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 sandy hole, walk inside, the pages, the back, you know, any, anything you see, you sand. And then you're going to wipe that clean. Then you're going to take your um, X-Acto knife, and you don't want to you don't want to get ahead of yourself and glue first, because then it's going to be kind of harder. Because this is kind of a um, you're going to have to feel your way into this. Um, you know, use a pencil, cut where your square is going to be for your book, and you're going to take the X-Acto knife and hollow out whatever, however, what depth. Let me turn it this way so you can see the depth I've got there. The depth you want for your um, for your little shrine. After you have done that very carefully, you might have to sand some more around the edges where the exacto knife cut, and you will need a little patience for this. This is the hardest part of this whole um, craft. Um, you're going to take some E6000 and glue it all together. Glue the pages together, and then you're going to let that sit. I would let it sit overnight. And then you're going to come back and be all excited because you, you want to step closer. Um, then you're going to, I now I took some, you know, white paint to kind of prime it because this one had really loud colors on it, but you don't have to do that. I mean, that's, that's optional. I mean, it may take you a couple of coats of paint of whatever color you choose. It doesn't have to be fancy paint. It can be just, you know, cheap paint. And then to get this sort of antiqued look after your paint is dried, after you get, you know, the original artwork on the book covered up, you can use either Distress Paint or just regular Liquitex ink. That's what I used and kind of rub it all over it to get the desired effect. And then you want to paint this, and I did the same thing here, and I used sort of two, maybe three, I used two shades of pink, this is dusty, um, I used three shades of pink, no, I thought three, two shades of pink, one yellow, and then I put some, a little bit of that gold over it. Okay, so half, after you've got that done, you're going to need some images, of your goddess. Now, for this, I used a, this is a dollhouse mirror that they sell um, dollhouse stuff at Michael's. You can get it very easily. And I just cut out the piece of art and, and put it over the mirror. And then on the front is another dollhouse mirror. And I did this to kind of symbolize that the goddess is within. That's, that's why I put that on my front. Um, and then you'll need some little findings like you could use little lockets you know not lockets little i don't know what you call these um little frames little photograph holders um or you know odds and ends of broken jewelry or you can just go buy some doodads and then my husband had this really cool like little knife thing and i use that to symbolize an affame and this was just a piece of jewelry so after you Get all your paint done, get your image glued in right here, and you're going to use Maj Podge to do that. You're going to use E6000, again, super glue, something like that, Gorilla Glue, to glue these things down on here. And then you're going to let that sit overnight. Now, over here, I just used um, Maj Podge. I just cut out an image that I liked, a piece of art, and this one... I just thought it looked really pretty and it matched the colors that was in the goddess and I put that over here you could put a prayer here you could do anything hold on just one second my cats are tearing up my my building I am so sorry. That princess thing that if you saw the video tour I did on here is like, a, oh, that hangs over my chair. <laughs> it's like a huge toy for the cats, and they were trying to tear it off the ceiling. I am so, so sorry. Anyway, you're going to use Maj Podge or like um, gel medium to put this down, and then you put it over it to, to seal it, and then you're done with this. All you have to do is tie a, uh, if you want to, if you so desire, 
a beautiful piece of material right there. You just wrap it around. I've just got a knot tied. I'll show you the back. I didn't do anything on the back. And then, then you have a little shrine. And now if you want it to be really shiny, you can use some Liquitex um, glazing medium to put on top of it. And it'll be, it'll be really pretty. Or you could use, they have um, a gloss, they have iridescent medium, all sorts of stuff. But that stuff can be kind of pricey. You could probably find a cheaper brand. So that's it. It's, you know, it's really simple. The cutting out is the hardest thing to do. Um, I did put a little bit of the glossing medium on top of this to make her kind of shiny. You could incorporate lots of different things with this craft. So I hope you like that. Um, I, I forgot to mention the giveaway is going to be drawn October 31st. Y'all know why. That's a special night. Um, so that's when we will we will draw. And I think, let's see, I think October 31st falls on a Friday. So I guess that would be the beautiful, lovely Connie Eats drawing, telling us who the winner is. So, you know, in our giveaway, show us what you've done and have a most awesome day. Much love.